Welcome to another edition of Changing Lives. Now, like inspiration, strength can come from various sources. So today we're talking about our core bodies. Tanya, I believe that we have three core bodies, right? Yes. Tell us more about this. Absolutely. So I talk about this a lot in my book, The Power of Positivity. Now, we have the physical body, which I'm sure all of us are aware of. And if you're not, there's a big problem with that. The mental body, which is about your thoughts. And interestingly, so many people are not aware of what they think. And then you've got the energy body. All right. Now, all three of them need to be in alignment for you to be on track. And if any one of them are not in alignment, clearly you're off track, right? And it's the easiest way to start. So if you're starting a journey to find yourself, to have that introspection we've been talking about in the show, so you start by being aware of your physical body. What are you feeding your physical body? Are you nurturing it? Are you treating it well? Are you exercising? So you can really work on the physical body because we're very aware of that dynamic of self. But if you're not giving yourself 20 minutes a day of exercise, and if you're not feeding yourself food that's going to nurture and enable your body and good vitamins and lots of water, those aspects can really impact your life negatively. So you really want to look after the physical body and that's 100% your choice. Nothing's stopping you eating healthy. Nothing's stopping you exercising. And if you can watch a 45 minute episode of something, you've got 20 minutes to exercise, okay? So if you tell me, oh, I haven't got time to exercise, even if you walk around your bedroom, you've got time to exercise. A couple of sit-ups, a couple of push-ups. So the physical body is easy to manage. The second one, is the psychological or mental body, okay? Becoming aware of your thoughts. And an easy trick is you choose a color, like for example, orange. And every time you see orange, you stop and you go, what am I thinking? And start realizing what repetitive thoughts you have going through your mind. And then, once you've obviously realized where you wanna be in life, ask yourself, are these questions in my mind I'm having, these thoughts, I'm having repetitively this internal dialogue or monologue, actually, hopefully it's not a dialogue. <laughs> this internal monologue that I'm having, is it taking me closer to my goal or further away from my goal? Okay, what do you think the energy body is? You're very touch the way you think, I would imagine, and what you put out into the, uh, into the environment, I would imagine. Okay, so it's beyond what you think. Okay. It's what you feel in association with your thoughts, okay? So like we said in one of the other episodes, we spoke about, let's say, for example, you use the word money mm -hmm. or love or chocolate. Your reaction to that determines how your body sends hormones out, which determines how you see the world. So let's look at the word chocolate this time, okay? I love chocolate, mm -hmm. right? So if I eat chocolate, I feel happy because it sends endorphins out to my body because I enjoy chocolate. But if a diabetic thinks of chocolate, what are they doing? They're sending out disabling hormones into their body, which is going to make them push chocolate away. Same with money. If money is flows to you easily and you have a good relationship with it, it comes in in your world and you're completely at peace with it. You don't think about it. But if you have a bad relationship with money or you fear it, what happens is you send out the same hormones as the diabetic and you push money away from you. It becomes a disabler, all right? So the energy body is incredibly important. It's how you feel. And usually that feeling is a gut feeling. So we need to be well aware of that dynamic. So what you think, how you feel about it, and your body's reaction to that determines whether you'll have inattentional blindness, which we'll go into in depth in another episode, or whether you'll have attentional awareness, which we'll also go into. And the difference between the attentional awareness or the inattentional blindness will either be pushing it away or bringing it closer to you. And people can actually start taking control of their lives. So in summary, what are we doing? Physical body first, that you have complete control of. Psychological body, your mental body, your thoughts, you almost have complete control over. And the energy body, you've got to learn. So how do you feel about that? I feel fantastic. And I think ultimately what you're saying is you just need to have a consciousness, right? Of your mind, your body, and everything that's going on around you. 100%. Thank you so much for picking that up. That's wonderful. Join us again next time for another edition of Changing Lives.
Ich weiß nicht, ob das ist. Ah,